Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're going to do a beer review. Okay, this one is by Common Space and it's called Yay Sayer IPA and they're from Hawthorne, California. And this one comes in at 6.7% alcohol by volume. I've never had this before, I've never seen it before, nothing. Um, I got four pints at Total Wine and More for like uh, 15 bucks. And um, it says here it has the hops are Idaho 7, Amarillo, Cryo Amarillo, and Cryo Idaho 7. Uh, the grist, I, I think that's the malt, Rar Pale. The yeast is BSI Barbarian Ale. And uh, yeah, it's a West Coast style IPA. And it's canned on 7 8 21, so it's about a month old, just, just one day shy of a month old. And uh, that's what the can looks like. I do recall doing a couple, a few of their, couple, a few of their beers, and they, they were pretty good. So um, hopefully this one follows suit. Let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. All right, Yay Sayer IPA. I think that I did one called Naysayer by them. So. Maybe they got a little thing going there. 6.7%. Doesn't list the IBUs anywhere. So, um, yeah. Common Space from Hawthorne, California. Well, it definitely looks like a West Coast style for sure. So, we got Monster, frothy, creamy, silky head. A little bit foamy and loose at the top there. Some bubbles popping open in the middle. We have a pretty much a crystal clear amber color here yeah it's pretty much clear yep very nice nice looking donut on top Yay! Alright, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Big pine notes right up front. Big pine notes. Floralness, but mostly pine. Really nice smelling pine though. A little breadiness coming through. Man, it's all pine. It's a pine bomb, for sure. Totally. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Yeah, okay. We're getting some earthy kind of hop notes coming in the sip that we didn't pick up in the aroma. But we're still getting a lot of pine in the sip. Wow. That's tasty. Uh, the IBUs have got to be up there on this one because it's got some bitterness to it for sure. Really nice head. I'd venture to say <laughs> the IBUs are probably over 100 on this. It is you got some dank hops, very dank. Yeah, that's hot. That's pretty hoppy, but it tastes good. If you're a beginner, I don't know if you'd like this one. It might be a little too bitter. I'll uh, find out what the IBUs are, and I'll, I'll post them in the comments. But uh, they're up there, that's for sure. We're pretty, pretty high uh, for a, a six. Um, what was it? Six point seven. Six point seven percent. That's a lot of IBUs I'm tasting. The um, the earthy kind of hops are taking over pretty much. The um, the piney notes are falling to the wayside because. Um, they were more in the aroma and then the initial hit and then the uh, earthy hops are starting to take over. Very tasty though. Dank. 
very hoppy. So um, it's got a medium mouthfeel. Uh, there's no booziness, no raw alcohol notes. It's a very well constructed beer. Very, very uh, dank. Kind of like if you ever had Hop Stupid by Lagunitas. It tastes very similar to that. Very tasty. I like it. There's a little bit of lingering bitterness on the back end because it is so hoppy. Wow. That's pretty gnarly. Yeah, you want to drink this one cold because if you let it warm up, it's probably going to get too bitter. So, um, I'm going to sip on it for a little bit and I'll be back in a few, okay? Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I looked it up. It said 70 IBUs, so that's up there. It's pretty bitter. Um, their description is funny. They're saying it's supposed to taste like tropical and stuff like that and fruity. I am not getting any of that. I'm just getting like dank pine and, and earthy hops. That's about it. Yeah. Nothing that tastes fruity at all. Maybe a little marijuana-ish. That's pretty much what I'm getting. Um, so uh, that's pretty much what I got on this puppy. It's got a medium mouthfeel, um, very well made beer, very dank, very high IBU. It tastes stronger than the 70 IBUs to me, but uh, it is what it is. So um, on a scale of uh, one to uh, five stars, two and a half BC average, I'm going to give this a 3.9. Um, I just think it's a little one-dimensional and, and a little bit too it tastes more than 70 IBUs um, sorry um, Nat was flying around my one my beer so um, it just is a little bit too a um, little bit too earthy kind of hop for me and, and dank a little bit too hoppy like a little bit bitter I think so um, 3.9 it is that's my story I'm gonna stick with that if you're a really like big time hop head and you like those notes I described how uh, you might like this beer but for me it's a little over the top I think so um, I mean it's got a lot of flavor but it's just kind of a you know, one dimensional high IBU flavor and it, it's the earthy kind of hops which is probably my least favorite I like more tropical and dank like wet green hop type notes this has a really dank earthy kind of hop character yeah it's just almost exactly tasting like uh, Pop Stupid from Lagunitas. So, 3.9 it is. Uh, thanks for stopping by, checking out the video, and uh, like, subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified. I appreciate all, all that, and um, y'all have an awesome morning. Okay, we'll catch you later. See ya.